So hello, good evening. We're at, at uh, the last uh, virtual crowd acquisition interview, a series of 25 interviews uh, with a Microsoft Service Pro uh, traveling to the uh, Netherlands, uh, talking to quite some cool collaborative economy entrepreneurs. So you're the last one. So uh, tell me, who are you and uh, what are you doing? Thank you very much. It's uh, my pleasure. Uh, my name is Guy van Eyck. I'm uh, um, working for uh, energy cooperative NDSM Energy which is a um, cooperative of companies uh, on an industrial area in the northern part of Amsterdam. And our ambition is to uh, collectively um, make this industrial area uh, more sustainable, uh, primarily in terms of energy um, production and consumption. Okay, and, and where did the idea came from? Uh, and also who started it? Well, uh, originally the idea came from uh, a couple of entrepreneurs. Um, well, you have to know that the NDSM wharf is, um, um, well, it's a very old ship wharf, which used to, well, uh, which started like a hundred years ago um, and was one of the biggest ship wharfs in uh, Europe. And in the 90s, it, uh, after the ship wharf went bankrupt, um, it has always been like a place of uh, pioneering uh, artists at first and then pioneering uh, creative companies such as Viacom International, um, owner of MTV, uh, which um, was one of the first companies to, to, um, to build their office there. So the NDSM Wharf has always been a, a place um, of uh, pioneering entrepreneurs. It used to be one of the biggest ship wars in, uh, in Europe and maybe in the world building very large ships um, and uh, for the last two decades or three decades it has been a pl uh, uh, like a place where a lot of uh, creative companies um, built their um, uh, head offices uh, in, in the Netherlands and um, the NDSM Energy Collective uh, co Cooperative comes, for, comes, for, uh, comes from that uh, spirit of pioneering I think um, a couple of entrepreneurs uh, with their own companies at the ship wharf um, had the idea that they wanted to do something with uh, energy and sustainability and so they got together and uh, came up with this idea of starting a cooperative and do it collectively because then you can share ideas and share costs of course and uh, well um, st have a, a shared ambition um, that you can, uh, uh, well, um, to strive after the same goals in terms of sustainability. Okay, and they started with four, and how many members uh, are now in the cooperation? Um, I th think uh, 60 to 70. We did some um, um, marketing today at the ferry which uh, crosses um, the eye every morning so we uh, tried to get some more members so it's about 60 to 70 now and we're striving to grow even further there are about 400 companies in the NDSM ship wharf uh, our goal is to uh, uh, collect them all uh, and connect them all and so, um, so uh, what is the ambition of the cooperation so uh, what is the goal you want to reach uh, I think one of our main goals should be uh, or is um, uh, to reach climate neutrality uh, by 2030, which means that we should um, produce the energy we, we use. Uh, and in that sense, we do not, um, well, uh, it means we produce our own energy and we um, reduce the energy we use. Um, in order to um, minimize carbon um, expo uh, um. neutrality, yeah, yeah, and 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 how did you grow from from four to now over sixty members? Uh, so, in what way did you manage to get new members on board? And also, uh, uh, what is the the shared value and also the added value of the new stakeholders in the uh, um, in the community? Well. Um, how did we grow? It's, uh, I think it's by telling a positive story about energy. I mean, every company, every consumer uses energy every day and it's, it's turning 
in something that's well uh, you don't it's not very it never was really a sexy uh, thing or uh, like nobody had a very positive connotation or negative connotation and because of sustainability which is a, a core value now in a lot of uh, company uh, philosophies yeah. and also with consumers um, I think by telling the positive story, spreading the word, and asking our members to uh, spread the word as well. Um, it's a very small community, the NDSM Wharf. So everyone knows each other, and um, it took a lot of coffee as well. I mean, just telling the story, explaining what you're going to do, and um, uh, making people enthusi uh, enthusiastic for for your uh, for your ideas. And and how can people uh, join the corporation? Do they have to pay money for it, or uh, how how does it work? Uh, they pay uh, money, uh, which is uh, a, a fee basically, um, which is uh, related to the uh, how big the company is. So a large company pays uh, uh, about two thousand euros and uh, a one-man company pays 50 euros once and for that amount they, they are a uh, um, stakeholder in the cooperative um, and the money they invested in the company um, and we also have um, uh, how would you say uh, like founding members and they pay uh, 10,000 euros okay. Uh, okay but they all have one vote that's the funny thing we have a, a, a general assembly and one of the main um, mm -hmm. uh, ideas behind the cooperative is one man one vote um, you have a, a, a general assembly twice a year and uh, the CEO of Viacom sits next to a, a, a one man uh, builder uh, company um, which and they all both have their, the same value of uh, vote even though the one guy uh, uh, yeah uh, is only uh, a stakeholder for 50 euros and the other guy for uh, 10,000 euros. Yeah, yeah, I think it's really, 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 really uh, also a really great starting point. So you're really equal to each other. And and in what way? Because I, I, I guess with the, the, the money people are paying, uh, you, can pay, uh, you can pay the cost of the cooperation. But in the end, you also have some goals you want to reach. So at, uh, so uh, at what way are you going to reach uh, the goal of, of, of being climate neutral or, or, or emission neutral in 2030? Well, um, there were already plans in the northern part of Amsterdam um, to build, to uh, provide a significant part of uh, energy production by wind energy. Um, the municipality of Amsterdam North um, had a goal of um, having 20 to 40 percent of um, household energy uh, provided by uh, wind energy. Um, there's a lot of wind n near the North Sea Canal uh, or the Eye, um, um, and um, so there, there al already was the idea for for wind energy, and uh, there also was the idea to do, to do that cooperatively, uh, bottom up with um, c citizens and uh, companies. And in 2012, when the idea grew. Uh, for NDSM energy, um, it was actually uh, uh, like um, the, the idea was already there, and we uh, we had to uh, ev we had to well, uh, evolve that idea in a, a, a concrete plan. Okay, so and and what is then the the the, the concrete plan? Uh, the concrete plan is that we uh, have a industrial area of 400 companies which use altogether 26 million kilowatt hours a year, which is quite an amount of energy, um, uh, like uh, uh, electricity, I'm, I'm sorry. Um, a normal household in Holland uses about uh, 3,000 to, th uh, to uh, 3,500 kilowatt hours a year. So uh, 26 million kilowatt hours is a, a, a multitude of that. Um, so um, with just wind energy is what is the most effective uh, form of uh, clean and on a large scale uh, energy production um, with 
six windmills, which is our plan of three megawatts, you could uh, roughly uh, produce about 36 to 40 million kilowatt hours a year. So w there's enough energy for all companies and for a lot of households as well. Uh, so the, the idea is to, um, to build a wind park and apart from that, use the revenues from the wind park because it's a, um, um, a profitable uh, business case um, to use the revenues um, to invest in further um, sustainability measures, which could be like um, uh, smart grids and to be an innovative playground, um, of energy playground with the companies together. So Okay, sounds really cool. But in the end, uh, your plan uh, 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 has to be finished in 2030, so you got quite some, some, some time left. But when you want to build six windmills, what would it cost? But uh, 20 million, 22 million a euro, I guess? Euro, I guess. Uh, mm. One wind turbine costs about four million euros. So uh, that would be about uh, 20 to 30 million euros. Um, but you, um, with a couple of companies or a couple thousand uh, citizens, you can already get the, uh, uh, the own capital that you need for a bank loan to invest in a windmill. So if you combine a lot of a couple of companies and a lot of citizens together, you have your own windmill. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, so so how much money do you need? before you can get uh, the bank loan for the for buying the windmills? Uh, I think the, 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 the number we hear a lot is about 15, 10 to 15% uh, own capital. Okay, okay. And then in the end, will this be also in the same corporation or will there be a new corporation where everybody gets shares uh, depending on how much money they invested? Uh, or, or, does, or do the companies also work together because of a social mission and 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 they just want to do uh, uh, do the right thing. Um, well, first of all, we have like we are a cooperative of companies, and we work we co we cooperate with uh, a couple of uh, Amsterdam cooperatives of um, of citizens. So citizens can become a member of one of the uh, citizen initiatives, and through that initiative, invest in the wind park and have their own share in the, uh, in the wind park uh, as an, an owner of a part of that windmill. And companies can do the same. Um, we have uh, a general assembly twice a year and um, practically our gener general assembly decides on what happens with the revenues of our part of, of, uh, um, of the wind park. So uh, if they decide they want to keep the, the interest on their, uh, on their share or the dividend, that's their choice. But as I said, there's a one man, one vote um, uh, principle. So um, the idea would be that we would invest that in, uh, in further sustainable or even maybe social measures. Okay, cool. And, 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 and what are the, the biggest challenges uh, for you uh, before you can reach your goal? It's not easy to uh, build a wind park. Um, that's something we found out. I mean, we're, uh, we're pretty much amateurs, um, which is fun. Uh, it's a, a nice experience. Um, until now, uh, for the last three years, the, most, uh, the biggest challenge would be the regional government. Um, let's say politics and regional gover government would be the, the hardest, uh, uh, yeah, uh, the hardest challenge to, uh, to, to get to that uh, wind park. Yeah, okay, and, 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 and also when you look at the, the cooperation, so because it is a, 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 a quite long-term project, so at what way uh, uh, are you going to, to, to keep all the members together for so many years? Uh, also, because I, I guess there are also quite some companies moving in and out every every year, or every, every month. Year, every mm -hmm. month. Yeah, well, our um, I say our working area 
all Amsterdam companies could become a member. We don't, we don't discriminate. I mean, uh, if you uh, have a company somewhere in uh, the southern part of Amsterdam, you're more than welcome to become a member. But uh, one of our uh, main, um, uh, how'd you say, one of our main points would be that um, energy production and consumption should be local and decentralized. So um, as local as possible, but we know that companies uh, move and, and so therefore all companies in Amsterdam are welcome, but it's an Amsterdam initiative. How do you keep them? Um, well, we also do, uh, f this year we, we helped a couple of uh, companies with uh, getting uh, solar panels on their um, on the roofs of their um, uh, company buildings offices um, yeah. so uh, for example there was one company that uh, can provide now 30% uh, of its own energy energy uh, since last week through solar panels um, so by taking small steps and uh, I mean every company has their own sustainability um, uh, philosophy or uh, it's somewhere embedded in their in their uh, company philosophy. Um, so by, I, uh, there is a hardcore of, of, of companies that, um, that, that will, that's always there on every general assembly that always reacts on every email you send. And there are some more uh, followers, let's say. Yeah. And we, you need those uh, hardcore uh, pioneering uh, guys and girls to, uh, to be successful. Yeah, of course. Yeah. And um, I think a professional organization, um, we have a professional board and we have me and we have, um, um, uh, how do you say, a council of, uh, uh, of wise men and women, women uh, the Raad van Commissarissen. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so we have a professional organization which, which, and I think NDSM Energy is a strong brand that the NDSM wharf will always be there, uh, so I think the story will uh, it will be worthwhile. I mean, it will be worth worth the wait. Okay, cool. So in the end, of it, to rephrase what you're doing is to say, say, okay, we want to be uh, 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 climate neutral in 2030. Uh, you make a cooperation of it. They say, okay, we we've, we've got an end goal to uh, reach this goal uh, by building six windmills together, also with some other corporations. And in the end, you are already busy with uh, building and helping other companies uh, on the wharf uh, to be uh, uh, sustainable. And in the end, <coughs> when the windmills are there and when your goal is reached, you're going to use uh, the money that you're going to get from the energy to, to, to follow this, uh, this, uh, this, uh, uh, yeah, this road. Yeah, but it's also, uh, I mean, wind energy is not a goal, but it's a means to, to get to that goal of... Uh, uh, climate neutrality um, and um, well I think our plan is to build them in the next three to four years um, we've been working on it for a long time uh, it needs a lot of spatial planning a lot of uh, investment talks etc etc um, but we have made a lot of steps already and we have one uh, permit for our first windmill which was uh, there were no um, uh, I can't come up with the word uh, There was nobody uh, complaining. When you want to build a windmill, there's a spatial planning procedure, and uh, citizens and uh, companies and um, uh, uh, let's say government layers can uh, can complain about your plans if they if they're uh, well uh, if it uh, touches upon their uh, their goals or whatever so um, that's a democratic way of uh, having your say <laughs> and it's very um, special especially in in wind uh, projects that there are no zero complaints especially if you if you think that if you remember that we we want to build a wind park within the uh, yeah within the city of Amsterdam within the ring uh, highway yeah, yeah. So there are quite some challenges left, but I guess you are really on the good way. And when people want to see more information, where can they check? 
Uh, we're active on Twitter, so uh, you could go to at NDSM Energy with IE and uh, or NDSM Energy dot NL. Okay. And we're on Facebook as well. So uh, and we're well, there's yeah, we we try to spread the word. Uh, I mean, how do you say? Uh, we're actually in the media a lot uh, lately because the wind energy discussion and uh, the, the the climate talks in Paris uh, next week. Uh, it's it's uh, there's a lot of more uh, media momentum. One could say. Okay, cool. So uh, thanks for the interview. I wish you all the best with uh, with uh, reaching your goals. I think you're really doing some great stuff and. Uh, have a good evening. Cheers, Bye -bye. Okay. Bye -bye.